Jessica Boyer with your SCB News Break for Monday, October 30th. Santa Clarita's influential and beloved Mayor Emeritus, Joanne Darcy, died early Sunday. She was 86. Darcy had her hands in virtually everything that happened in this valley for more than 30 years. She's the only person ever to serve back-to-back -back terms as Santa Clarita's mayor. She helped start the Domestic Violence Center, the annual wine auction for the Senior Center, and the Celebrity Waiter Dinner for the American Heart Association. In 2001, the Canyon Country Library was named after her, and she received a star on the New Hall Walk of Western Stars. Just last week, the city played a video clip of her final city council meeting in 2002 during their State of the City luncheon. In honor of her memory, here is the clip. So many emotions have passed through my life. So many tributes I've been given. Not deserving, I don't think, but I have been a part of those organizations and those things that happened. And when I look at our city today, I realized what a great thing happened when we did become a city. It is nothing but great. All the people that came with us and stayed with us time and time again followed us to meetings, demonstrations, giving work on their own for thousands of hours from our volunteers. I do love you all. You're part of my life. You're part of me. And I want you to feel that way about your city because that's what it means. It's a love. It's a love affair for people. And it'll always be like that if you continue to help. So Halloween is almost here. Are you ready? While you're putting together your last minute costume or making plans to celebrate the spooky holiday, don't forget about safety. Some tips from the city are be sure to cross streets at marked crosswalks only. Parents walk with children that are trick or treating to ensure safety, especially while crossing the street and have a route plan. Have conversations with older kids about being safe at intersections. Drivers, expect more pedestrians and children than usual and exercise caution at intersections. And don't forget to watch out for children who might be darting into the street. Stay in well-lit areas and avoid wearing masks so you can remain aware of your surroundings. Wear a safe costume, avoiding extra material that can cause you to fall or props that can injure yourself or others. Don't forget about keeping your pets safe too. This holiday can send dogs fleeing into busy streets or freeways and running scared far from home. Cats can feel the same anxiety, but generally like to find a dark place. So make sure your pet's license is current and be sure that the tags are securely fixed to their collar. Also microchip your pet. If possible, keep your pets indoors away from the front door in a secure, comfortable place with some white noise like TV or radio. Make sure your property is secured and keep pets away from all candy. Properly dispose of all candy wrappers and keep pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns away from pets. Halloween pet costumes can pose safety hazards too, so don't dress your pet up unless he or she is used to it. For more safety tips, visit scvnews.com or hometownstation.com and have a happy Halloween. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, hundreds of families went to the sheriff's station this past weekend for a charitable fright. Plus, kids and their families took to the ice to celebrate Halloween a little bit early, coming up after the break. The 34th annual Heart Rampage Marching Band and Field Show Tournament is coming up. C-35 Marching Band and Color Guard teams compete on Saturday, November 4th at the COC Cougar Stadium. The family-friendly event will begin at 10 in the morning and last through 10 in the evening with a mass drumline and award ceremony to finish off the night. Admission is only $10 for adults, $8 for seniors and students, and free for children under 5. For more information, visit the website below. See you there! Welcome back. Many residents caught a scare this weekend. Here's Jennifer Montiel with more. The Sheriff Department hosted their annual jailhouse on Sunday. From spooky mazes to creative costumes, adult and kids enjoyed a day full of exciting games, petting zoo, delicious food, and live entertainment. Captain of Santa Clarita Sheriff Department, Robert Lewis, who enjoys giving back to the community, 
hopes that this long-running tradition continues to grow. This is the largest crowd I've seen here at, uh, at the Haunted Jailhouse. And talking to some of the folks, they're happy to be here. And even some of the individuals that have been here and had booths here for year, for years, uh, this is the uh, the biggest uh, uh, show of the community we've had, and it's been tremendous. So thank you very much to the community. Every year, the sheriff station partners up with Santa Clarita Valley Boys and Girls Club to generate funds for the program. One of this year's biggest attractions was Dosky Deputy, where many had the chance to drink a local sheriff with ice cold water. Chief Executive Officer for the Boys and Girls Club, Matthew Nelson, has been part of this annual event for many years and says how important this event is for the program. Uh, funds from today's event will go to support the Boys and Girls Club's daily operations where we have two sites here in Santa Clarita, one in Canyon Country and one in New Hall. And we need this, you know, extra funds like the funds from today will support the programming that the kids receive at the club. The Santa Clarita Boys and Girls Club expected to raise thousands of dollars by the end of the day. For SCV TV, I'm Jennifer Montiel. Celebrating Halloween a little bit early, Ice Station Valencia held a family-friendly event as kids took to the ice in their costumes. Brandon Iriarte was there to see how it went down. As the winter season approaches, several kids and adults took to the ice for a day of ice skating with a Halloween twist at the Ice Station Valencia on Saturday. Well, today we're just celebrating Halloween and we're doing like a little fun thing for the kids. We have a trick-or-treat station, so they go, they get a stamp card and they get to go to all four stations and get candy. We're decorating pumpkins with puppy paint and pipe cleaners and feathers and um, sands. We're just trying to get the families involved and make a really good fun day for everyone to be out and about and um, bring everyone back to the family environment um, here at the Ice Station Valencia. There are activities for every age as parents watch their kids unleash their creativity on pumpkins for Halloween. Staff are on hand to help the kids turn their vision into reality as the time spent with family was one of the goals for this event. We really encourage everyone to like just bring the family unit back um, and have a lot of fun and you know laugh at yourself and just have a good time. Even as the spooky holiday will soon pass, the ice station hopes the families will come back to spend some more time on the ice. For SCV TV, I'm Brandon Yarte. Now taking a look at weather, Monday saw some clouds roll in and expect some possible drizzle overnight. The weather is looking to be cloudy with some drizzle on Tuesday, making for an extra spooky Halloween. The rest of the week is looking to be cloudy with some chances of rain. Highs are expected to reach the upper 60s with lows in the upper 40s and low 50s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jessica Boyer.